this is a uh, part two of uh, Isaiah 33 and verse six. Uh, I had to cut part one short because I had uh, was talking to a family member, my OG. So this is a uh, part two of uh, Isaiah 33 and verse six, and I'm gonna use a couple of precepts to help along the way as well too of this sit down lesson of Isaiah 33 and verse six. In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord, Yahweh his treasure, right? So wisdom and knowledge shall be, definitely shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Psalms 120, uh, Psalms 112, verse 1 through verse 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. Psalms 112, verse 1, and it reads, uh, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord Yahweh and delight greatly in his commandments. Verse 2, Psalms 112 and verse 2, and he reads the Holy Scriptures. He say, and his seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generations of the upright shall be blessed. It says uh, Psalms 112 and verse 3, wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness shall endure forever. Proverbs 19 and verse 23, the fear of the Lord Yahweh tend to life, and he that have shall abide steadfast, and he shall not be visited with evil. Okay. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 verse 19, wisdom strengthen the wise more than the ten mighty men which are in the city. Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 14 verse 27 The fear of the Lord The fear of the Lord Yahweh is a fountain of life To depart from the snares of death Right so It's better to choose life rather than death You know and That's the wisdom and knowledge and understanding Coming back into the righteousness and seeking righteousness In the sight of the heavenly father Yahweh Especially us Israelites you know of the 12 tribes of Israel, men, women, and children from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. So definitely, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation in the field of the Lord, Yahweh is his treasure. But uh, continuing on to the next precept of the cross-reference to Isaiah 33 and verse 6, and continuing on, Psalms 27, verse 1, verse 2. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord Yahweh is the strength of my life, and whom shall I be afraid? Uh, Psalms 21 and verse 2, and praise the wicked, even my enemies, my foes, come upon me to eat my flesh, and they stumble and fail. So this was all the precepts that I wanted to bring out. This was just a continuing of a uh, part one when I left off of uh, Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And this is a continuing from where I left off of that from part one. And this is a part two of uh, Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And that was the title of the sit down lesson from part one and part two. So hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying with that. I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shab, Ba'ashem, Wakakadash, Shalom to the uh, elders while I get Akbar. And until next time, I will say Shalom. Salakia. I don't know why that came up. <laughs> That's folly.